You surprised me when you came in and took care of Desiree up against the post. We got a lot of letters in here. A lot of people put it down on you a little bit because of the chair. Well, uh, I don't know. I guess I just finally snapped. Got sick and tired of the same old crap week after week. Desiree's out here. No competition. I'm all the competition you're going to get, Desiree. And we're going to see if you can handle that tonight. Because if it takes me kicking your butt all over this arena, that's what I'm going to do. I know at one point you guys were training for a tag team possibility. That didn't work out, or at least it hasn't worked out so far. What have you learned, or what will you do different tonight? Uh, tonight I'm, I'm going to just kick her butt all over, and uh, it's going to be no rules. You're going to see a new Casey Houston, Desiree. Look out. Yeah, she put the fire in those eyes. The action in a ladies' match. It's Casey Houston in the ring against Dizzy Ray Peterson. This is a one-fall affair. With a 30-minute time limit, and I'll tell you something, Mike Adams, uh, this gal, Casey Houston, has really been putting it to her opponent, Hammer and Tom. Well, you could tell from the interview we did earlier, the fire was in Casey's eyes tonight. She said she had a couple of new moves. She sprung one of them on Desiree earlier. We didn't see it, of course, but it was a big kiss. She planted a kiss squarely on the lips of Bob Brown's girlfriend, Desiree, and Desiree was disgusted. She was disgusted. She was. It was, it was you humor. Can anybody kissing Carl Moffat? Now, let's get serious. Carl Moffat? Who kissed Carl Moffat? Carl Moffat kissed Desiree Peterson. What is, what, what is he watching? Beats? What are we talking about? I tell you, it was the worst thing I've ever saw, and he should be fine and suspended. He didn't do it. <laughs> Just a minute. I was way across the room when Bob Brown was talking with Frank Sisson. What was that all about? Bob Brown, could you believe this? My confidence and faith in Bob Brown was shattered. He actually turned down a challenge, or at least he wilted at the mere mention of a name like Mockham Singh. Mockham and the, Singh? And the giant, the Canadian giant. They, they both are interested in Bob Brown. Very interested. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Mockham Singh and the Canadian giant want a piece of you. I thought you'd be flattered. Mucka Singh, you mean the big fat man? They, they call Norman and Luma Pick on the National Wrestling Alliance? Oh, listen, he better stay down there. If he comes up here, you know what? I just might consider wrestling him and beating him up. And as far as the Canadian Giants, you stay in Ontario where you belong. That's a good place for you. If you didn't get enough of me last time, and if you want more of me, just come out west here, because that's when I come unglued. Well, I tell you. <laughs> He can talk brave with those guys a couple of thousand miles away. Anyway, anyway, that's interesting. Very intriguing. Meanwhile, Casey Houston continues to work on that left arm of Desiree Peterson. Basically, for the first five or six minutes of this match, it's been all Casey Houston. Peterson has taken an awful pounding. She's going to get some more. And as you said... Man, man, KC had that fire in her eye. Look at that. Ouch. You were away last week, Ed. KC came out, surprised Desiree, threw her into the ring post, took a chair to her. It was incredible. Oh, my. Peterson is getting hammered. And I'm not talking party time. She's going to slam her? Yes, sir. Whoops. Uh-oh. One point landing. Fall. You must be nervous. What do you call that? Fall at the junction? A malfunction at, at the, the junction. junction. Yeah, that's what uh, Casey Houston. Now Desiree's just been fooling around with her for eight or nine minutes now. Now you're going to watch Desiree, the real true woman. You know, she's a great woman, and she's a true woman. I tell you, with anything she tells me, I believe her. And getting back to this third man in the ring, you know that Fred Hader, he's left. K.C. Houston have a run of this match for the last eight or nine minutes and hasn't done a thing to her. But I'm going to tell you what, he's going to let this match get carried out of hand and Desiree's going to hurt her. Well, there's the lovely Desiree. And you forgot to notice Desiree slapped Carl Moffat's face, too. Of course, nobody said nothing about that, but I, I saw it. You can fool a fox, but you can't fool an old one, Mr. Whalen. She was probably thinking of you. That wouldn't be a bad thing to think of. Romance and Bloom. Bulldog and Desiree. I... 
I don't know. Oh, Bulldog has uh, little pictures of uh, Desiree himself just dancing in his mind. He can see it all now. Driving it to Drumheller tonight. What a scene. You know, I'm putting the trunks on tonight at Drumheller. And tomorrow in uh, Turner Valley, Monday night in Strathmore, Tuesday night in Morty's Gym. Hey, all four towns. Tickets are going a little slow, like I said earlier. Of course, mentioning that Bulldog, Bob Brown, we're going to have a full house, and I hope they have a good opponent for me. I'd like to get one of those, uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, look out, look out here. Oh, she grabbed her. She grabbed her by the hair. That was not a clothesline. I'd love to get Pretty. one of those baseball players. Baseball player. The ball player, huh? Okay. Might be arranged. Beautifully timed drop kick. One, two, just two. It's one thing I've got to say. On one side or the other, both of these gals can go at it. Has she got her? Yes, she did. Oh, yes, she did. And Desi Ray is absolutely enraged by that development. She can't stand it. Absolutely cannot stand it. An unbelievable turnaround for Casey Houston. The quick rollover and the three count by Rod Hader. You saw it, and Casey Houston comes up with a win. Certainly surprising at Desiree Peterson. And speaking of surprises, let's join Bulldog Bob Brown with Ron Ritchie.